5 Steps to Mastering Artificial Intelligence Basics Hi, Quantum Thinkers. Welcome back to the world of AI. Artificial intelligence is one of the most exciting and rapidly developing fields of technology today. AI has the potential to solve the most pressing problems facing humanity, such as disease, climate change, and poverty. AI offers many opportunities for career growth and personal development as AI-related jobs are in high demand and pay well. But how can you get started with AI and master its concepts and applications? In this video, I will share 5 simple steps to help you learn AI from scratch and become an AI engineer quickly. Artificial intelligence is the construction of computer programs that can mimic tasks associated with human intelligence. AI solves problems by using computer programming and large datasets. The field of AI includes machine learning, deep learning, and natural language processing, which allow computers to learn from experience and perform human-like tasks, often more efficiently than humans. AI is also the fastest-growing sector of the economy, with AI software revenue expected to rise 21.3% year-over-year, for a total of $62.5 billion in 2023. The average base salary for an AI engineer is over $119,000. One of the biggest obstacles to learning AI is not knowing where to start. It is a broad field with many components. Many of the concepts involved in AI rely on advanced mathematics and formal reasoning, which can be a barrier to industry involvement. To help you overcome these hurdles, we've compiled a manageable step-by-step -step guide to mastering the field of AI. Let's dive into the AI world. Step 1. Choose a topic that interests you. AI is a broad field that covers machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, computer vision, robotics, and many other domains and disciplines. To learn AI effectively, you should choose a topic that piques your curiosity and inspires you to explore more. For example, if you are interested in music, you can learn how AI can compose music or lyrics. If you are interested in healthcare, you can learn how AI can diagnose diseases or prescribe treatments. If you like playing games, you can learn how to create realistic characters or environments with AI. The best way to find a topic that interests you is to look at some examples of AI applications in different fields and see what catches your eye. You can browse some online platforms that showcase AI projects like Kaggle, Hacker, or Springboard. Attention, Quantum Thinkers! Before we dive into the next step, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Step 2. Find a quick solution. Once you've chosen a topic of interest, the next step is to find a quick fix that covers as much of the problem as possible. This means finding an existing AI system or algorithm that can perform the task you want to achieve. For example, if you want to generate music with AI, you can use a pre-trained model like Magenta or Jukebox. If you want to diagnose with AI, you can use a pre-trained model like ChayXNet or DeepMind. If you want to create realistic characters with AI, you can use a pre-trained model like StyleJN or BigJN. The point of finding a quick fix is not to reinvent the wheel but to become familiar with the basics of AI and how it works. You can use online resources like Google Collab or Binder to run pre-trained models without installing anything on your computer. You can also use online tutorials or courses that explain how to use these models step by step. Step 3. Improve your simple solution. After finding a quick solution that works for your problem, the next step is to improve your simple solution by adding more features or functionality. This means modifying or customizing an existing AI system or algorithm to best suit your specific needs. For example, if you want to generate music with AI, you can change the genre, tempo, or mood of the music. If you want to diagnose with AI, you can add more data or labels to improve the accuracy or specificity of the diagnosis. If you want to create realistic characters with AI, you can change the style, color, or expression of the characters. The point of improving your simple solution is to learn how to modify and fine-tune the AI systems and algorithms according to your preferences and goals. Step 4. Share your solution. After improving your simple solution and making it more unique and creative, 
The next step is to share your solution with others and get feedback. This means presenting your work and explaining how it works and why it's important. For example, if you want to generate music with AI, you can upload your music tracks to SoundCloud or YouTube and share them with your friends or followers. If you want to diagnose diseases with AI, you can write a blog post or paper describing your method and results and share them with your friends or mentors. You can post your pictures or videos to Instagram or Twitter and share them with your fans or critics. The point of sharing your solution is to learn how to communicate your ideas and insights effectively and persuasively. You can use online platforms like Medium, GitHub, or LinkedIn to showcase your work and connect with other people interested in AI. You can also use online communities like Reddit, Stack Overflow, or Quora to ask questions and get answers from experts and enthusiasts. Step 5. Repeat steps 1 to 4 for different problems. After sharing your solution and getting feedback, the next step is to repeat steps 1 to 4 for different problems that interest you. This means finding new topics that challenge you and applying what you've learned so far. For example, if you've learned how to generate music with AI, you can try generating lyrics or speech with AI. If you have learned how to diagnose diseases with AI, you can try to prescribe treatments or drugs with AI. If you have learned how to create realistic characters with AI, you can try creating realistic environments or scenes with AI. The point of repeating steps 1 to 4 for different problems is to expand your knowledge and skills in different areas of AI and discover new possibilities and opportunities. You can use online resources like Coursera, Udemy, or edX to find new courses or projects that teach you different aspects of AI. You can also use online sources like Google Scholar, AR14, or Medium. In conclusion, you can learn AI on your own, though it's more complicated than learning a programming language like Python. There are many resources for teaching yourself AI, including YouTube videos, blogs, and free online courses. Because AI involves advanced mathematical concepts such as linear functions, linear algebra, probability, statistics, and logic, it can be easier to learn as part of an organized course. However, as long as you have a comprehensive learning plan and are committed, you can learn on your own. Thank you for watching and do like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned with Quantum Thinkers.